Hello and welcome to a quick Orbital Rendezvous tutorial in Kerbal Space Program 0.18. The first part of any Orbital Rendezvous is to make your life a little bit easier, and that means getting your space station into a good position to meet up with in orbit. A good position is where it has not yet passed over Kerbal Space Center, but will do shortly. The video of the launch is sped up a little bit just to save you time. Once we get in orbit, we're going to show you how to set a target, which is extremely useful, probably one of the most useful features in point 0.18. And then we'll go over maneuver nodes, which are another extremely useful feature. Combine the two, and rendezvous are so much easier than they used to be. Okay, we're just about in orbit, so we're going to left-click on Midway Station, click Set as Target, and it's going to pop a few things up on your screen. You'll have ascending and descending nodes, in this case it doesn't really matter, because our orbital planes are pretty much aligned. And it shows these intersection points. Those represent the closest approach between your ship and the station in your next two orbits. So you can play with the maneuver node to align those two arrows. It's completely visual, no math, just pull on the prograde and retrograde until they kind of line up. No fuel wasted, and it's pretty easy. When you're rendezvousing, the place you should put your node to do this is where your orbit and your target's orbit aligns. So you can see I've placed my node at the closest approach between these two orbits, between my orbit and Midway Station's orbit. If your orbit is nowhere close along any of it to your target's orbit, you should adjust your orbit so that you have just one contact point. So essentially, essentially you're going to do a home-in transfer where you get your orbit partially aligned and then you use a maneuver node to align the other half as far out or in as you need to get intercepts. Then you could see in the video that yellow bar that went down that was just telling me how much I needed to burn. And it's as simple as that to get within about five kilometers. So once you're about this close, what you want to do is switch to target mode by clicking on the speedometer down the bottom, which I did. And then, instead of showing prograde and retrograde, it shows your relative motion to and against the target you selected. So when you get to about five kilometers away, you want to kill all your relative velocity so that you're not moving in relation to your target. Then you want to point at the purple arrow or the purple dot. It no longer points to Kerbal Space Center 2. In target mode, that purple points right at the ship you've targeted. So then you just burn straight to your ship, the ship you've targeted, space station, whatever. You want to go for 5 kilometers, maybe 30, 40 meters per second. Not too, too fast, because you don't want to blow by this thing. You definitely don't want to hit it. So then after you've done that, you align back on the yellow retrograde target. So this is going to let you slow down when you get close, in case you are pointed right at it. You want to slow down so you don't hit it. You can time warp a little bit, slowly. You don't want to blow by it. When you get around... When you get to your closest approach, I should say. When you get to your closest approach, you want to burn and kill this relative velocity. So you're stationary compared to the station. And then you want to repeat this one more time. Or as many times as it takes. In this case, we're under a kilometer away, so we're just going to do it once more. Point at the pro target, I guess it's called, marker. And since we're under 500 meters, you don't want to go very fast. Because again, hitting this station is a lot worse than taking a little bit longer to get to it. OK, 
Okay, so when we get to a couple hundred meters away, between 1 and 200, you're going to want to kill your relative velocity again. Point your ship roughly at the target. And then you're going to engage docking mode. Now, docking mode remaps your keys to make it easier um, to both control the camera and to give you full control over pitch, roll, and yaw, and translation. Now, the, the specifics of how this work uh, were explained in one of Harvester's dev posts on kerbalspaceprogram.com. but it's a really useful mode. I encourage you to experiment a little bit. And one thing I will say when you're doing your initial approach is to just roll your ship so that when you hit shift to go up or control to go down, it actually translates up and down. Left is left, right is right. If you've rolled the wrong way, that's not gonna be the case and it's gonna be a lot more confusing. So you see I'm adjusting here, I'm just rolling it a little bit so that it moves in the direction I expect it to and I don't have to think about my controls. So you can see we're a little bit misaligned along pitch and yaw. In this case, because we're just one docking port to one docking port, roll doesn't matter, but you want to get pitch and yaw aligned. You do that by hitting space to go into pitch or pitch and um, yaw mode, I guess it's called something like that. Then you just switch back to translation by hitting space again. You just want to bring it in nice and slow. Something like 0.1 meters per second is about as fast as you want to do this. And in fact the docking system won't even work if you're going faster than that. It's programmed not to, according to Harvester. So you want to get this as closely aligned as you can. Then you want to turn SAS off in case there's any little misalignments, you don't want your system fighting each other. The SAS fighting the magnetism. And when you're super close like this, you want to, you want to turn RCS off. And that's all there is to it. You can see even that really slow approach, my sp space station is kind of reverberating a little bit from that impact. And I kind of cheat. I use time warp to kill this motion. But it's not really a big deal. Now to transfer fuel, you hold down Alt and then right click. And you do that both on your target and destination tank. And then you just click out or in, depending if you want the flow, fuel to flow into the tank or out of the tank. So I've topped up, topped off the station storage tank there with leftover fuel. And that's it.